Hi everyone, today I'm going to go over how to remove the driver's side dashboard trim. The tools we need to do this are the crosshead screwdriver, a small flathead, various trim tools, and possibly a magnetic pickup tool. But before we get started, let's take a look at the piece we will be removing. Behind the trim, there are these two large prongs that go into these two holes in the dashboard. And how those are held into place are by these small metal clips that should release once you start prying the trim off. It's because of the wedge shape, the wall would push against it and lift the metal from holding the trim in place. Another possibility would be that the hole in the wall could compress and squeeze the clip through the hole with the trim. Or lastly, the 90 degree metal part could bend and let go of the trim. But don't worry here, since you can easily bend it back with pliers. This now leads into our first step and why it's important to remove the cup holder and vent so that you can catch the clips before they fall into the dashboard abyss. I'll be demonstrating how to remove the cup holder on the passenger side but it is exactly the same on the driver's side. Now all you need to do is remove the screws here and here using your screwdriver. But before you can unscrew the top, use the small flathead to pick off the screw cover. Once that is uncovered, you can just start unscrewing. When both screws are removed or loose, you should be able to just jiggle out the vent and cup holder. For the following steps, it may help if you have someone with smaller or skinny hands. Now let's get started getting the trim off. You may do this your own way, but I use the skinny trim tool to make more room for my fatter trim tool that helps me pull it off. Once you get that leverage, you need to place your hand behind that top left prong so you can catch the metal clip. Then you can start prying slowly near that prong until that clip falls off. When you have that, stop prying. Now this part is a little harder. You will need to wrap your hand underneath this black column for the lighting controls so you can catch the other clip on the bottom right. Or you can use the magnetic tool instead of your hand to attach onto the clip. Then again, Start prying slowly near the bottom right prong so you can catch the clip. You should be able to feel it move around while you pry. If you fail to catch these clips, don't worry. That's where you can use the magnetic tool and try to get them. When you get all the clips, you're done. You have it off. But to put it back, you can do the reverse and put the trim in and then reach your hand around to put the clips back in. But this could be difficult since you are doing it blind and the tight fit. An alternative is to simply put the clips on the trim first, then line it up with the dash, and then firmly and evenly pound it into the dash. It should just snap into place, and you could double check that the clips are still there. And just like that, you're all done. I hope this helped you and thanks for watching.